Hi, I'm Frances Mystery and I'm going to be showing you how I made my song I could listen to all day on Logic. You can listen to the full song on Spotify, on Apple Music, on all streaming services. And also, I have a new song coming out on September the 17th called Where's a Good Place to Be Alone? And you can pre-save it via the link in my bio. It would really help if you did, but yeah, I'll get right into it. So basically, I had to make a song for a uni assignment because I go to music uni and I had to include program drums as that was the topic that we were learning about. So the first thing that I did was actually make a drum beat via the hi-hat, snare and kick in separate tracks so I could put separate effects on them as I wish. And this is what it sounds like. It's all very simple. For the hi-hat and the kick, I sent both of them to a separate bus together put chroma verb on it and added just a reverb to make it sound more realistic. This is what it sounds like without it. It just makes it sound more real and more spacious. And for the snare I did the same thing, I sent it to a different bus and added space designer reverb and found a plate reverb which you can find if you press load and you can find a bunch of different reverbs and find one that you think works. This is what the snare sounds like. This is what it sounds like without it. Just makes it sound more full, more real. And that's all that I did with the, the drum kit. I added a cymbal and a crash in the chorus to accentuate like the accents, you know, in like this part. But I guess I've told you now. Um, yeah, that's all I did to give it something. The next thing I did is I used my acoustic guitar and I tuned the high E string down half a step to D sharp, just to a different tuning because I just thought it would sound nice. Um, and these are the chords I came up with. I think they're quite nice chords. They're quite calming. They're pretty chords, I think. Yeah, so tuning something different just m makes different chords that I hadn't used before. It gave me some new ideas. To record my acoustic guitar, I record it through my microphone instead of through a lead because I don't like the sound of the guitar through a lead. It makes it sound really electronic and twangy and I prefer like the kind of open sound and the real sound of an acoustic guitar through a microphone. And with that I recorded it through the microphone, added the natural strum preset, put a lot of ambience and reverb on it to make it sound really open and ethereal. That's all that I did for the acoustic guitar. After that, I then added a piano, which was the word it's a classic. Added a lot of ambience and reverb because I like a really dreamy sound. That's what I was hoping to go for. So this is a piano. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's all the way through for all the chords. It's just to give some background and some texture to it. The next thing I did was I took my acoustic guitar separately and I just came up with some lyrics and a melody line for the song separately away from my door. And then once I had figured out some lyrics and a melody, I came back and recorded it and double checked the vocals. What can I say? So both of them are exactly the same. I didn't do anything special with the vocals, um, I just recorded through the classic vocal preset, added some plate reverb and some spring, and just hope that the, one, the, like, the original ones that Logic gives you does enough, because at the point I wasn't too good at producing vocals. I messed around but it just didn't sound right, so I just used the original ones. It sounds alright in the end. <laughs> yeah, for the chorus I added some harmony. But I guess I've told you now Is that okay? And for the pre-chorus I added harmony because I hadn't added any on the first pre-chorus and it kind of just builds up the song 
adding extra layers later on. So that's what sound like. I've got so much to tell you. So I'll move on to guitars. I added a heavenly tweed electric guitar with echo and reverb turned up and I got this sound as kind of like a, a lead guitar sound. It's just very atmospheric, had the same presets on this one to give like an introduction to the verse. We added this one into the pre-chorus to build up the pre-chorus before the chorus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again. So. So much to tell you. Like how you made me feel. So when I was recording the electric guitar, I obviously recorded it through a lead straight into my um, my interface, which is the focus right. Scarlet solo one because I didn't want to deal with having to re-record it so many times to get it exactly on beat um, I used flex time slicing so I could just take the accentuated parts and put them back onto beat where they're meant to be it makes it a lot easier than having to re-record so many times and you don't notice it in the end mix that you've done that for the chorus guitar it is also heavenly tweed that I used but I added, I turned on the drive, but it's all the way at the bottom, but it makes such a nice, like, sound. I've used this guitar sound in You Won't Drown before. It's kind of like my favourite guitar sound, but I don't want to overuse it. This is what it sounds like. It's just so nice. <laughs> it just suits the vibe. It's all quite simple, to be honest. I added a few drum fills before everything. Like, just to introduce each phrase. I did them just by using, like, like a drummer thing. Because I wasn't very- I'm not very good at knowing how to write drum beats or anything. Quite simple. But I wanted to add something else, so I just let them do it. <laughs> let them do it? Let the computer do it. And the last thing I did, well last thing, I don't know when I did it, but the bass, I had just got a real bass before I was just using my MIDI keyboard to do everything. And so finally I had a real bass that I could record. It's all very simple, it wasn't anything special, but this is what it sounds like. The big stack didn't change anything with this. And for the end, going back to vocals, forgot about this. At the end, I added a little outro melody. And that low one is just, I've copied down the same vocals, it's exactly the same one, and I pitch shift them. 12 semitones down, so it's just a really low voice. Just adds a different effect, so it's not all the same throughout. Just gives a nice exit to the song. And that's basically it with everything. I have, it's very simple. It's very simple. I only really started using Logic like two years ago, and only recently have I been really getting into other things and learning how to produce properly. But I hope you enjoyed, maybe you learned something. I didn't really go that into depth for specific things because I didn't use any specific things. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Pre-save my song. Uh, again, link in the description. Hope you have a good day. Also, if you have any ideas or anything that you think I should do, comment and I might do them because I don't really know what to do with my channel. <laughs> I do covers. I hate talking, this is the first time I've really spoken on a video. <laughs> Let me know, and I'll see you next time. Bye!